Huh, Dad! Sorry about that. Now what do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Gohan, I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. Let's see what you two can do. Don't hold back. Yeah. Yeah. What? Is that all? He's strong. That's enough, Gohan. You and I are strong, too. Not bad. Now that's more like it. Come on, Gohan. Keep at it. I will, Mr. Piccolo. So this is the power that was able to take down Freeze. I need you guys to get stronger. Stronger than Freeze you. Man. I... I hope I can. Based on how you guys fight now, tell it's gonna happen. I don't know about that. Not done yet. Looking forward to whenever that is. Turn a year just to make an entrance. Hey, you guys are pretty good. I'm impressed. I knew you were strong. Wow. enough training for today. <laughs> Fine by me. I need to work harder. Man, you've gotten stronger, Gohan. <laughs> you think so? Of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. Huh. You mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? No way. He'd better. We're going to be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show him how strong you can get in three years, Gohan! Y yeah Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta'll be fine. He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. 
I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Where is that damn geezer at? There he is. There you are. Yes? Can I help you? What is going on with that training room I asked you to build? Basic construction is complete. I just need a few more items for the finishing touches. Yeah, like what? There aren't a lot of things that can take a beating from you, you know? This thing has got to be durable. Let's cut to the chase. I finish your shopping and you finish the room, that right? That's right, you got it. Here's what I need you to get for me. And that about does it for the things I need. <laughs> you want me to get this, huh? Hey! You a local on this rock? I got a business proposition for you. Give me what you got, and I might not kill you. Who the hell are you? Remnants of Frieza's pitiful army? Are you... Vegeta? W what are you doing here? Oh, I get it. With the Frieza Force gone, you've become a galactic highwayman too. Sorry, but I got here first, and I ain't sharing with you. You caught me in a bad mood. That will be your final mistake. Die! <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
yourselves! <laughs> This should be worth eating. Ooh, I might keep that apple. Damn it. Utter waste of my time. I got what you asked for. That better be all of it. Now that I have this, the room's as good as ready. Wait here. All right, it's finished. Kakarot trained under 100 times gravity, so I'll have to triple that and train under 300 times gravity. Actually, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Assuming you weigh, say, about 175 or so pounds, that'd be approximately 18 tons of pressure! That's only three times what Kakarot did. There's no way I can't handle it. That Vegeta is unbelievable! Training under 300 times gravity? Is he trying to kill himself? Damn it! I... Vegeta, what are you doing? Shut up, woman. Leave me be. Oh, you don't want my help? Suit yourself. Why? Why can't I reach his level? I... I am the Prince of the Saiyans. Sheesh. There's just no getting through to you, is there? You're insane! Have you been at it this whole time? <laughs> You're not going to make any progress if you keep this up. <laughs> Why don't you just ask Goku what he does to turn into a Super Saiyan? i die before I ask for that low-class loser's help! Yeah? Then why don't you try dying? What did you say? I've prepared a special training partner for you in the simulator. Think you can beat them? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, you ridiculous woman? You're Vegeta, the almighty Saiyan Prince, right? <laughs> I guess that settles it then. Good luck! And one more thing. My name's Bulma, not woman. Think you can remember that? Do you know who you're talking to? Damn that! Woman! This place, this is the wasteland where I first fought Kakarot, which means... But how? I'm fighting myself? What the hell? <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. A super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with scum like you. Damn that blasted woman! What the hell is her problem?! You're about to learn the hard way that effort alone isn't enough to reach my level. I will get stronger. I will go beyond Kakarot and this bastard version of myself! What the hell? Don't tell me this is all you've got! Don't underestimate me! Don't underestimate me! Don't underestimate me! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> 
of your power. You haven't used it all up, have you? You're in for a treat. I haven't begun to tap into my power. Prepare yourself! Gotta prepare yourself and bear witness to the unstoppable power of a super elite! Don't be ridiculous! The only super elite around here is me! Don't let the rest go! Damn you! How dare you! This is unforgivable! What's unforgivable is robbing away here, wasting my time with you! Don't underestimate me! Don't you got a gun! Don't underestimate me! Even myself! I will punish myself for lagging behind Kakarot! Wow, I guess that wasn't enough of a challenge for you, huh? You... You really know how to piss me off! Oh, come on! I was just messing around with you! More! Huh? You're right, it wasn't enough! You're going to make me a stronger opponent! Uh, don't you take that tone with me! I'm going to get stronger! and use that strength to crush those androids! You have a problem with that, Bulma? Fine. You're a real pain, you know that? Wait. He just called me Bulma for the first time, didn't he? Kakarot, I will surpass you. Just wait. You'll realize that I'm number one. Hey, Chi Chi! We're back! Hi, Mom! Man! We really worked up a sweat today! Goku, do you have a second? Sure, Chi Chi! But can it wait? I'm starving! Don't you? I'm starving me! I got a bone to pick with you! Yeah. Why can't you act more like our neighbors and drive us to the store once in a while? But Chi Chi, we don't have a car! And even if we did, I couldn't drive it. I don't have a license. You need to get a driver's license! You're the only one around here who still doesn't have something that basic! Piccolo doesn't have one either. What use would I have for that? Then you need to go to driver's ed. Think of it as training to become normal everyday people. You're both obsessed with training, right? Then you What? What do I have to? It's easy to find Bulma's place, just look for the biggest house! The next day, after catching an earful from Chi Chi, Goku and Piccolo reluctantly made for town to enroll in driving school. Now then, shall we begin the driving lesson? <laughs> if this is how it's gonna be, then I'm all in. Listen up, Goku. Whether it's in battle or on the road, I'm not losing to you. All right, I get you. This is a different type of training. 
It's on, Piccolo! Um, there's no need to view this as a competition. Are you all right? All right! Let's do this! Remember, safety first, okay? This isn't putting safety first! Woohoo! Man, this feels great! We should be able to make it, right? Oh, don't forget about safety! Oh, don't forget about safety! I bet this thing can go even faster! Man, this feels great! Woohoo! I bet this thing can go even faster! We should be able to make it, right? Man, this feels great! Woohoo! No, 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 no! Man, this feels great! Hey, not too bad! This isn't putting safety first! Man, this feels great! Woohoo! This isn't putting safety first! No, 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 no! Man, this feels great! Hey, not too bad! We should be able to make it, right? I bet this thing can go even faster! <laughs> How was that? Uh, oh my! Alright! Looks like I'm the winner, Piccolo! Oh wow! Who are these guys? <laughs> One more time, Goku! Wait! I said wait! A license isn't some prize for bragging rights! It's to ensure that you can drive safely and responsibly! Like I care about that! I will not accept defeat from the likes of him! <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a hang of this whole driving thing, don't you? Let's go, Piccolo! Come on, let's do this thing! Uh, excuse me! With pleasure. What? It's on, Goku! Oh yeah, Piccolo? <laughs> hey, Chi Chi! We're back! Goku, so how'd it go? <laughs> Handled it like a complete pro! I beat Piccolo no problem! <laughs> you what? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but whatever. Did you get your license? Oh, actually, there's probably something you should know. I think the instructor was a little freaked out by how we drove. She told us she'd give us our licenses if we promised to never come back. <laughs> so... so you... You didn't actually pass the test? Well, at least you got your license. Yep. Now we can buy a car and finally go on those family drives I've been dreaming about. Well, the thing is, they also said we'd have to pay for all the damages caused during the test. And I can't even guess how much that'd be. What? Uh, I'm not so good with money, so... I'll let you handle that. Thanks, Gigi! You, you Well, now that that's done, let's get back to training! Yeah! <laughs> Mom? Whoa, Chi-Chi! You alright? I know it wasn't easy, but you finally got your license, Goku! I'm proud of you! Now all we need is a car! A car? Do we even have money for that kind of purchase? Well, 
Not after paying back the city for all of the damages you caused when you were taking the test to get your driver's license! I'm counting on you to get us that car, Goku! Oh, right. I see. Sorry about that. Hey, uh, why don't... Why don't I ask Bulma? She's a whiz with machines. Cars are machines. Good idea! Bulma always has a solution up her sleeve. That's true. I guess I'll hit her up about it then. You do that! Oh, hey, Goku. What brings you here? Well, it's not a big deal, but I was hoping you could help me with a little problem. Uh, sure. What's up? Not sure if you heard, but Chi-Chi made me get a driver's license, which is fine, but the thing is, now she wants a car. Got an extra one lying around in those tiny capsules? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? Earth's champion, now a licensed driver. <laughs> sure, I can get you a car. Seriously? You don't strike me as a responsible driver. Any normal car would turn to scrap with you behind the wheel. Find me the stuff I need, and I'll hook you up with an extra sturdy set of wheels. All right, then. So what do you think we need? It's all on this list. Be sure to refer to it when you're out scavenging so you don't forget anything. Oh, and one more thing. Leave all matters of maintenance and upgrades to me. Excellent! Thanks Don't mention it. After all, happy wife, happy life. I'm home, Chi Chi! Wow! Did you get us a car? After I round up a bunch of materials, Bulma's gonna make one for us. Really? That's wonderful, Goku! Then you'd better get to finding those materials! I'm sure it'll be good training, too. I don't know if I'd go that far, but then again, you never know till you try! All right, what should I do today? Dad! Mom's calling for you! Really? Uh, okay. Hey, Piccolo, do you think you could take Gohan and train him for a while? At least until I can catch up. <laughs> Fine. Goku? I just got a call from Master Roshi. He said launch is back at Kame House. Oh yeah? Talk about a blast from the past! So what's going on with her? I'm not sure, but he said she wanted to talk to you about something. But I've got training to do. Don't you dare be disrespectful to Master Roshi. Just head over there and hear them out. Oh, yeah, you're right. Guess I'll make my way over there. Be careful! Ah, there you are, Goku. Would you mind listening to what Launch has to say? Launch! It's been a while. Someone forget about you? What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Tia and all three eyes is back in the promised land. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Being that he cheated death and all, I thought a visit was in order. Then why don't you just go? I did, but he wasn't home. I've been by time and time again with no luck. Apparently the oaf's out traveling the world, training. Hasn't been back since. I ain't got the foggiest idea where he could be. That makes two of us. I don't know either. Ah, don't give me that. You can fly. Find him for me. Come on, I'm begging ya. Hmm. What? You can sense energy, you dolt. Zeroing in on him should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry to blank out on you there, Master Roshi. Let's see now. Hmm. Tien. Tien. All right, got him. Hey, he's near my house. What? You found him already? Yep. 
If that's all, I'll be in my merry... You idiot! I'm not ready yet! I wasn't expecting you to find him so fast. Seeing him requires, you know, preparation. Why don't you try to keep him busy till I'm done? Got it? I'll be quick. Sheesh! You try to be nice to people. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Goku, a rare pleasure. So someone asked me to find you and let's just say she really, really, really wants to see you. That's so. I'm actually done training here, but it looks like I'll be on the move again soon. Seriously? That's a bummer. Can't you wait a little longer? Well, perhaps we can strike a deal. How's this sound? Let me test the results of my training on you. Is that all? Shoot, I'd do that for free. <laughs> it's been far too long since we went toe to toe. Here I come. Never cease to amaze me. Likewise, Tien. You've gotten a lot stronger. Apparently not strong enough. But learning that is a milestone in itself. As promised, I'll wait for this mystery guest. Through my sparring with you, I discovered a few things I need to improve. I think I'll train here for a little while longer. Do you mind? Go for it, Tien! Thanks. By the way, who is it that wants to meet me? Oh, crap! I left that part out. It's launch. Oh, you have no idea how much that makes me want to get back to training. But a promise is a promise. Tell her she can find me here. You bet! Not too much longer now. I wonder how many. Hey, I'm so glad you're back. Well, did you find Tien? Sure did. Listen up. So uh, reunited at last. This has been a long time in the making. Thanks. Here, this is for you. I fixed some grub to take with me, but went a little overboard. You can have the leftovers. Thanks. You know me, I'd never turn down food. Hold on to your hat, Tien. I'm coming for you. <laughs> it 
if I can push myself just a little bit more, I should be able to turn into a Super Saiyan. I see you're hard at work as always, Vegeta. What do you want? I've made some slight modifications to the training room. Would you like to see what I came up with? Oh, go on then. Show me what you've done. I knew you'd be interested. Come with me. She's a new researcher I've hired to help me work on the training room upgrade. Be nice to her, Vegeta. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Allow me to explain the new feature to you. Interesting. I might have to give this thing a try now. We should have room for a few more upgrades, but we're a little short on power. If you find any large sources of energy, give them to my fellow researcher here, and she should be able to make the necessary improvements. Got it. How's your training going? Mind your own business. Well, don't overdo it. Though I'm sure someone as tough as you will be just fine. You've got that right. That should put Bulma's mind at ease then. Whoops, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> just you wait, Kakarot. It won't be long until you're struggling to keep up with me. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. You're late. Sorry. Ran into a few hitches. <laughs> but I did manage to get in a good bit of training, though. I got to fight against Tien. <laughs> I figured as much. Luckily for us, we took the liberty of starting without you. <laughs> Sorry about that. How's the training coming along, Goku? We've done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Right! Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off. Uh, it's probably nothing. Hey, Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Go on, take it easy, okay? Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. Don't use up all that power of yours before the fight even starts. Oh, sorry. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks, the child she had with Vegeta. 
all except Goku, were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. Huh? Uh, what? What's going on? An explosion in the city! It, is it the androids? Could be. But there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. Th that's it! They're androids. Which means we can't sense their energy. Y you're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, then we're just gonna have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know, got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. The androids attack. Let's go! Jeez. Where could those things possibly be? I'm starting to think I should have had Trunks show me a picture of them or something. Krillin, how are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? I never imagined we wouldn't be able to track their energy. Talk about a pain. Tian Shen Han! Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's gotta be some place we haven't thought to look. If it's me, you're at anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right, be on your guard. Whoa, I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha? Y Yamcha! Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. How do you know Goku's name? We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tien, yes? We can talk about this later. Let's go! Wait a minute. How did they know our names? Not surprised the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. So, before we fight, tell us. How? Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you. Goku, I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, 
I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army, so that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giraud remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giraud himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giraud is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. Ah! I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? Well then, what do you say? See what he's got, huh? Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Yeah! <laughs> oh! he, he absorbed the attack? Goku! Don't fire any energy attacks! They can absorb them with their hands! <sighs> Absorb the attacks? <clears throat> Give me a break. <sighs> what? What's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Man! I'm, I'm not doing so hot! What's going on? Yeah. If anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me, not some junk puppets like you. Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Gohan! Krillin! Yamcha! What's going on? 
One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Dad? Goku! The hard virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No! Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away! I'll take him. I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta! Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us Saiyans. So tell me, are androids capable of experiencing fear? Vegeta's a... a Super Saiyan? I've yearned for nothing more than greater power, and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be impressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this! Just as I thought, you're nothing! Scrap piles don't feel pain, right? That must be nice. Your energy is mine. Damn you. What's wrong? Did you make a miscalculation somewhere? Prepare yourself! Don't underestimate me! Capable of fear after all. <laughs> Take this. 
have a taste of Super Vegeta's Big Bang Attack! I've used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Come at me. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. <laughs> You're not going anywhere! I'm going too. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine. But don't get pulled into the fight. He's more than you guys can handle. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you find him, let everyone else know, okay? Amplified Android Terror. That android is a whole lot craftier than I thought he would be. There's been no word from Gohan and the others. I'd better go ask them, just in case. Since we can't sense his energy, this will be tricky. Etienne, got anything? No, I still haven't caught sight of him. Have you seen him, Krillin? Nope. He's pretty well hidden in these rocks. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. There's no sign of him having left this rocky area. He's more than likely hiding somewhere. Gohan, you find him? No, he's not here. I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Looks like some Vegeta. Have you spotted him yet? He's faster than I thought. Damn him! Damn. I hate to say it, but we might have lost him. No calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. Go, go on. Androids, get over here. Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead. <laughs> How did they find me? <sighs> Thanks, Gohan. Krillin, give Piccolo a Senzu bean! Uh, okay. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Taking your energy. Special beam cannon! Your energy is mine! Yeah! Special Beam Cannon! 
Cannon! I will be taking your energy now. I will eliminate you. <laughs> Just as I calculated. Don't take this light. Cannon! Yeah! Huh? Special Ben Cannon! Impossible! This can't be Piccolo's power! It's all out! I will eliminate you! Special Ben here! Your energy! I can't move! Special Beam Cannon! Eliminate! Special Beam your energy now! Special Special Beam Cannon! I will eliminate you! I will eliminate you! You've made a terrible error in trying to fight me alone! Yeah, yeah. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Special Your energy is mine! No! I will not be done in by the likes of Piccolo! And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Your energy is mine! I will eliminate This is inconceivable! What's wrong? Another miscalculation? And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? Special Beam Cannon! Special Beam Cannon! Eliminate you! Damn it! Wait, these aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, 
I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Ah! Mother! Trunks? Trunks? Did he just say Trunks? That's my son's name. Wait, he's from the future. That means... Are you alright? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? So... Where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <laughs> I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. It looks like the androids you fought are different from the ones I've been fighting in my time. Then what the hell are we fighting? Uh, that's not that big of a deal, right? I mean, so history's a little different now. Wait, that creepy geezer was an android? Huh? Yeah. That might have been the actual Dr. Jero. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Uh, a female type? Oh, come on. Bulma, do you know where Dr. Giro's laboratory is? He's probably there right now. If I had to guess, it's likely in the mountains up north. I heard that he built it in a cave around there to do his experiments. To think he was a lackey for the Red Ribbon Army, that's crazy. That settles the matter then. We'll find the location of Dr. Giro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate Android 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now, too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the Prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot in terms of power. Don't stand in my way. Vegeta may actually have what it takes to get rid of the androids. As a Super Saiyan, it might just work. I can transform into a Super Saiyan, too. Yet... I was no match for them. I'm going too. He's difficult to deal with, but I'm not about to watch my father die again. Uh, father? Uh, did he say father? Guess there's no point in keeping it a secret. Not anymore. Kid's name is Trunks. Vegeta is his father. You're his mother. In other words, he's your son. Trunks is the grown-up version of the baby you're holding in your arms right now. What? Uh, really? Uh, well, that explains it. 
that's why he was able to go Super Saiyan. I think it's probably best we destroy the androids before they've been activated. You guys come with me. We're going to look for Dr. Giroux's lab. Right. Yeah. Okay, Bulma. This is important. Could you let my dad know what's going on? And tell him to come help when he feels better? Well, I would, but how am I supposed to do that? Have you seen my plane? Gohan, head back and take her with you. Understand? We're more than strong enough to destroy the androids. Uh, okay, be careful. All right, let's go. We have to get there before Vegeta does. Right. <laughs>